Your voice sends forth vibrations throughout the cosmos. With every syllable you speak, it's not just philosophy. It's science. Acousticity is a sort of power. When you speak, the vibrations of your words release energy. Now picture the power you'll have when you speak these words with conviction and passion. Many of us engage in destructive internal dialogue. We tell ourselves, I'm not good enough. Attempting this is beyond my capabilities at the moment. The problem is that you keep repeating the same limiting beliefs without realizing how much power they have on your life. Think about what may happen if you started telling yourself things like, I am capable. I can overcome any obstacle or every challenge is an opportunity in disguise. It's not just a semantic distinction. It affects how you feel, what you think, and the world you bring into being. The brain is an incredible organ. If you constantly remind it of the good, it will eventually come to believe you, and your surroundings will start to match your inner state of mind. The purpose of positive self-talk is not to fool yourself. Rather, it is to foster mental growth. It's analogous to dropping a seed into a rich soil. Neuroscientists have discovered that our internal dialogue actually creates new neural connections. By strengthening these neural connections, positive affirmations make it more natural to engage in thought and behavior patterns that are consistent with our affirmed beliefs. A person's neurological pathways that lead to self-doubt, anxiety, and inaction are strengthened when they engage in negative self-talk. What you tell yourself becomes what you believe. What you believe becomes what you do. What you do becomes your results. And what your results become reinforces what you believe. Constant repetition. Therefore, it is essential to initiate this cycle with encouraging self-talk if you wish to attract what you desire. Envision yourself in front of a cosmic reflection. This mirror reflects more than your outer appearance. It also reflects your inner thoughts, feelings, and conversations with yourself. Whatever you want for, the universe will grant you in spades if you project it onto this mirror. You will attract more of the same if you focus on lack, doubt, or worry. On the other hand, if you project love, happiness, and encouragement while gazing at that cosmic reflection, good things will happen. The cosmos will respond to your feelings in kind. The subconscious mind is the driving force behind your actions and thoughts. Constantly receptive to input, it takes what you say at face value. If you only ever tell it bad things, it will start believing them. Many people fail to recognize the power of their words. Careless words, with no consideration for their potential effects, might cause harm. Constantly voicing feelings of want or despair releases those vibrations into the universe and has an effect on your unconscious mind. The subconscious doesn't care if something is good for you or bad for you. Instead, it faithfully brings into being whatever you tell it, to believe or see. What you plant in your unconscious mind will eventually manifest physically and mentally, according to the words of Joseph Murphy. So, if you dwell on your frailties all day long, they will rise to the surface, just as concentrating on lovelessness will bring more of the same. So will actively seeking it out. The beauty of the mind, though, is that it can be retrained. Start fueling it with happy thoughts, pleasant imagery, and firm convictions. You might wonder why, despite my conscious effort to seek joy, my unconscious mind so frequently brings me greater sadness. According to Neville Goddard, we bring into being not what we want, but what we already are. Instead of stating negative things like, I don't want sadness. Try saying positive things like I am happy and blessed. Appreciating this moment. You're setting a strong emotional precedence when you declare your current state of bliss. What occurs to you in life is a direct result of your inner state of mind. 
It's not enough to simply use upbeat language when discussing wealth and achievement. You must internalize the concept of plenty. You'll change the way you express yourself. Once you learn to be grateful for what you have and approach life with the assumption that you have more than enough, you'll find yourself thanking people more often and complaining less. It's wise then to monitor your thoughts and words throughout the day. Words are extremely potent and fundamental. Just by thinking or speaking, you send out vibrations that shape your world. The words you choose, especially when discussing yourself, can have profound psychological impacts. Joking about negative topics or putting yourself down, even in jest, may seem like a good idea at the time. But these words seep into your mind and alter how you see the world and how you feel about yourself over time. It's crucial to keep in mind that feelings and convictions conveyed through speech are not lost forever. When you put your feelings into words, they resonate within you and can change your life. Constant complaining, for instance, isn't merely an indication of discontent. They strengthen the things that are bothering you, making them more ingrained in your life. Some couples exhibit this behavior when they focus more on their differences than on learning to appreciate and love one another. They bring more unhappiness upon themselves by constantly dwelling on the negative. Selecting the most appropriate words is a deliberate act of agency. Saying, I trust I will handle this instead of, I hope I can manage this, can make a big difference. In the former case, doubt is implied. The latter has an underlying air of self-assurance. Words like, try and hope, plant seeds of uncertainty. Whereas trust and no convey confidence. Use encouraging language when conversing with yourself and others. Saying I trust that I will win instead of I hope I can win is more confident. Hope and genuine belief are two very different things. Say, I trust that I will do amazingly. Instead, then I will try my best. More joy and vitality can be attracted into your life through the use of upbeat language. Your words are more potent than you might think. The words you choose to express yourself with reveal a great deal about your character and emotions. They express their innermost thoughts and feelings to others and to themselves. That's why watching your words is so crucial. Always have a positive, encouraging mental dialogue with oneself. If you treat yourself with kindness and love, it will reflect in your words and actions. In this way, your inner and outer expressions can reflect your highest potential. Over time, positive results follow words said with love. There is significance in words, and they may change everything. Just observe and take in the feedback of those around you. If you need further confirmation, what they say and what actually occurs in their lives are oftentimes remarkably similar. Keep in mind that what you say can have serious consequences. Those who are having financial difficulties often open out about it. While the wealthy are more likely to discuss expansion and new possibilities, this is no reason to pass judgment on them. Everyone, rich or poor, has something special to offer the world. Their outlook is the result of their unique personality and life experiences. The words you use on a daily basis have the power to mold your experiences. It's as if your words were potent magic spells. Words and thoughts, according to Hermes Trismegistus, can lead you not just in this life, but also beyond, drawing you closer to something divine if you know how to employ them properly. Your words and thoughts will have impact long after your physical form has passed on. You never know how your words and thoughts will affect areas of your life that you are completely unaware of at this very moment. Your words, then, do have an effect that lasts. Awaken your latent strength and put it to good use. Talk lovingly, and you'll attract more loving people. But if you spew poisonous rhetoric, you'll only attract more trouble. Each of us possesses the ability to conjure up a fantastical universe in our thoughts 
and our thoughts and emotions. Regardless of physical location, trust in your own strength and use it to your advantage. If you can awaken that unique part of yourself, you will be able to contribute to making the world a better place for everyone. If you're still here, I appreciate all of your encouragement and kind words. Your feedback has been fantastic. Please, keep it coming and show this movie to your friends and family. I appreciate you taking the time to read this and wish you the best.